Rebel Rouser. I'm Alan Voivod, and this is Star Wars 7x7. We're at episode number 1,646. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and, you know, in talking about Star Wars television, there is something that I have neglected to talk about. And so it is worth revisiting that and talking about it. And that is the world of Star Wars animation, specifically Star Wars Resistance. Now... As we suggested would happen last year, Star Wars Resistance is coming back on January 13th, so they are picking it right back up in January, and with the season being 22 episodes long, it was pretty much a straight dividing line right through it to get to that halfway point in the mid-season finale in December, but now we're picking it right back up there, we're going to be at least, you know, we know three episodes in January, and beyond that, we don't have the announcements of the episodes just yet, but we know what the next three are coming up, and it seems like only one of them is necessarily, just by, you know, what we've been given so far, going to directly advance the whole question of the plot with the First Order and who is helping them on the platform, so... We'll have to see how they actually play out. But here's what we have so far for what we know about Star Wars Resistance and the three episodes that will be coming up in January. The first one is entitled Bebo, and one of the members of Team Fireball, Niku, adopts a strange sea creature for it and gets way more than he bargained for when it brings chaos to the platform. So yeah, that sounds like your typical comedy of error situation. And Elijah Wood is going to be returning as Jace Ruckland for this, so undoubtedly he will be trying to get Kaz in trouble and trying to blame the chaos on him as he's already demonstrated doing so far. And just by the way it's phrased, it suggests that we are not going to be familiar with this character, whoever it is. It doesn't seem like it's somebody that we've already encountered. So that's an important distinction, and that would seem to rule out Elijah Wood's character from consideration. And in particular, we have the description for the next episode, which is called Dangerous Business. And our synopsis is that in exchange for parts, Kaz mines acquisitions for Flix and Orca and comes into conflict with a shady alien customer in league with the First Order. So that right there suggests that we are about to discover who our First Order spy is on the platform. You know, and the more that you think about Elijah Wood's character, the more you think that Maybe he's where the payoff is going to be. Maybe he is going to end up being the person who is in league with the First Order somehow on the platform. But based on the other episode synopses that we've gotten so far, it seems like that may not turn out to be the case. And then finally, for now, the last episode in January will be titled The Doza Dilemma. And it involves Sonara, who is the pirate that was welcomed in by Kaz and Tam, and who is now basically sort of a secret pirate agent on the ship, or on the uh, Colossus refueling platform, I should say. And it says, Sonara settles into life on the platform, but her pirate compatriots have other plans for her. And from the Sonara score episode earlier in the year, the idea was that her placement on the platform was supposed to be uniquely helpful to the pirates to come create a bunch of chaos on there. But based on the results of that episode, it seems like she's starting to have second thoughts about her you know, allegiance with the pirates and befriending Tam of Team Fireball. And so... Yeah, maybe this is going to be the episode where things kind of come to a head between Sonara and the pirates, and she's going to have to choose between one side or the other. And based on the title, it seems like something with the Doza family is involved with this. So it could be Captain Doza, could be his daughter Tora Doza, the flying ace for the Colossus platform, or one of the five flying aces. I have a feeling that you know, it's probably more related to dad because ultimately they're trying to get the, you know, get the captain to sign off on the First Order's proposal and destabilizing activity on the platform. So that way the captain is forced to concede that the First Order's help is necessary to protect the platform. So I have a feeling that is really what it comes down to. 
And based on the way things are laid out right now, I think I can tell you how the rest of the season is going to go. And I will do that in just a moment. But first, I do want to say that, hey, if you are not subscribing to this show wherever you like to catch it, then please do. And I hope you will also consider supporting this daily dose of Star Wars joy by joining the community at patreon.com slash SW7X7. And so... As far as the laying out of these episodes, it seems like it's going to be very easy for Lucasfilm to have all of Season 1 complete before Star Wars Celebration Chicago. In fact, they should probably have all the episodes in and done by the end of March. And so what that means for Celebration Chicago should be that the people who attend a giant Star Wars Resistance panel will get to see the first episode of the first two episodes of Star Wars Resistance Season 2 at Celebration Chicago. And this would be continuing a tradition that they have done with previous celebrations. They did debut the beginning of Season 4 of Rebels at Celebration Orlando and Season 3 of Rebels at Celebration Europe, for example. So every reason to believe that that is how they will operate this time around and then we can look for the movie to actually be broadcast in late september or early october of 2019 and for episodes to pick up right after that so there you go that is your 2019 preview for star wars animation with star wars resistance and we talked about the clone wars saved already in an earlier episode this week so i think you know we are all set in that regard and so that is going to do it for this episode of the show thank you so much for joining me for it as always and may the force be with you wherever in the world you may be podcast is not endorsed or sponsored yet by Lucasfilm Limited, Disney, or 20th Century Fox. It is intended for entertainment and information purposes only. Star Wars, the Star Wars logo, all names and pictures of Star Wars characters, vehicles, and any other related Star Wars items are registered trademarks and or copyrights of Lucasfilm Limited or their respective trademark and copyright holders. May the force be with them. All original content is copyright 2019 by Star Wars 7x7. We hope you love it.